Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial on my channel. In this one I'm going to show you how to make a very efficient and pretty good gold farm. Now this farm will give you about 90,000 XP per hour along with 3,300 golden ingots and also 22,000 rotten flesh. Which means you can also use this farm as kind of an emerald farm if you have villagers. Anyways guys these are resources you're going to need for this farm. Now this is 16 hopper minecarts along with 4 water buckets and also 26 lava buckets. Also you will need 4 tridents. If you don't have tridents I would recommend making my trident farm. I will link that down down below. You're also going to need about 23 stacks of any type of building blocks. Um, I like to use both glass and blocks because they both work, work well together. You're also going to need around. You're also going to need roughly four to five, somewhere between four and six stacks of blocks that can't burn. Okay, guys. So before we get started, I want to say that you can build this pretty much anywhere in your world. But I like to build this farm above water because it just looks nicer. Okay, guys. So firstly, you need to find out where you want to build this. Then after you found the location, you need to place a double chest like this, well two double chests. Then place four hoppers going into those double chests. Then place one temporary block right here and then build a wall all around this uh, kind of hopper system like that. Well, you know the hopper things like this. Then you need to build four more of these. So basically just place a block right here. Then go three more blocks out like this. So basically just build a four by four kind of, you know, thing like this. Do the same right here. So they should all kind of be in a weird circle form, I guess you can say. Then one more right here. So after I've done this, you need to basically just build these uh, chest things in all of these. Just place three blocks down here, double chest right here, and then two and then four hoppers going into those chests. Like this, then just do this on all of them. Okay guys, so after I've done this, you need to head into each of these, uh, you know, things and then place four powered rails on top of the hoppers. And then just fill in the, you know, powered rails with four hopper minecarts. You should in total have placed 16 hopper minecarts. Then place a powered rail in each corner, like this. Okay guys, now we need to grab your observers and place them exactly the way I do. So firstly, look at the, the first powered rail, place an observer kind of view with, with the little eyes facing into it. Do the same right here, right here, and right here. If you fly above this, you should now have the observers kind of, you know, looking in a circle like this and then just kind of continue this so the face should be looking towards the powered rail so basically head over here place the observer in front of the powered rail same here and same here now these should also be in the little circle as you see the arrows are pointing towards kind of the next observer then do the same with the rest of this okay guys after i've done this you need to place blocks in the kind of the block spaces between the observers and also four blocks on top of the hopper minecarts do this do this with all of them okay guys now we need to head under here place a temporary block right here place a block in front of that destroy the temporary block and then make a little platform right here this platform in the middle should be roughly four by four like this then the next step is to place four redstone repeaters these repeaters should be facing into each kind of well powered rail i mean like this and they should be kind of facing in uh, you know each opposite each opposite way like this so then just place four redstone dust in the middle then one kind of dust going into each of these if you've done this correctly your redstone should be looking like this then the next step is just to cover this with blocks now we can grab a lever and place it in pretty much any of the four middle blocks and if you turn it on this should all kind of well some of these uh, powered rails should light up once if you flick it off again all this should now be blinking like this okay guys so your next step is to head into each of these circles and then basically place the piston like this in all of them you should place them on the empty blocks well not empty blocks but the blocks that are that are right next to an observer then after you've done this, just fill in the empty space all around with blocks beside this room right here. So just do this. Okay, so after you've done this, just place a slab on top of here. This means that, well, these rooms are basically our trident killers, which means that when, you know, zombie pigments fall into here, they will, you know, get killed by tridents, which means that you will stand in the middle right here and collect the XP. Okay, guys, so the next step from here is to grab your glass head on top of these circles, and then uh, on top of this piston, build 18 glass blocks upwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 18. Then basically do the same on all these uh, 8 blocks right here. So just build 18 up on all these. Now I quickly want to say that you don't need to use glass for this. You can use any type of block you want. But I like to use glass because you can kind of see the pigment while standing down there. Which is kind of nice. But yeah you can use any blocks you want. Even dirt. 
Okay guys, so after I built up 18 blocks like this, basically I just build a small, uh, you know, row of blocks around here like this. Basically I just build, you know, 4x4, four four, uh, I don't know, circle, circle around these. Now I quickly want to say that I'm going to make some changes on this later, basically going if, going one block down right here. Uh, but that's going to be a pretty easy change, so just build this like this for now. So just place, you know, the blocks like I'm doing for now and we will change uh, what we need to change towards the end. Okay guys, so the next step is to grab a empty locator map. So basically just open the locator map and now we need to look north. So to find north, if you don't know, you just have to look upwards or basically your little character has to look upwards on the map. So basically from here, well the next step is to, on this block right here, when you when you find north is to build four blocks upwards. So one, two, three, four. Then head over here and go out by five. So one, two, three, four, five. So after you've done this, you want to get started on your big portals. So simply place one obsidian right here and then go nine more out. So this line going out here should be 10 obsidian long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then head over to this side and go out by 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you should basically have a 21 block long, you know, obsidian row right here. Then you can head into each corner and place a temporary block right here. Well, just corner block. So after you place the, you know, corner blocks, you can destroy these, the block up here basically. And then all you need to do now is to head into one of the corner blocks and build 21 more obsidian out for the second portal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Then place a corner block right here, go 21 blocks more out. You can also just run out right here until you follow the same line right here. Place a corner block right here and then there should be a 21, you know, block placing whatever between here like this okay guys so what you want to do now is basically just go 21 blocks up so you want to build 21 obsidian upwards and all of these well on top of all these corner blocks so basically 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 place a corner block right here go 21 obsidian out from here roughly until this corner basically just jump down here build 21 blocks upwards until you reach the top then place a corner block right here so now you have your first portal so basically just do the same on these last kind of corners and then just uh, fill in this and boom so i quickly want to say the reason we are building this in this size is because the biggest portal you can kind of have for zombie pigment spawn is a 21 by 21 so to make sure you have done this correctly and everything works you can grab a flint and steel try and light the portal and as you see you know zombie pigmen might spawn but as you see the portal should light if it's working if it's too big the portal won't light which means you will just have to count your blocks again okay guys i quickly want to say one thing before we get started on the water collecting things or whatever and that is the fact that zombie pigments on the portals will spawn on the south side and also the east side which means that on the north side we will basically have to build you know the kind of zombie pigment collecting thing on the inside right here so to quickly show you what i mean we are on the north side right now so basically just build blocks all the way out here until you get right under the portal so if you spawn right here fall down you should hit this thing so that is correct like this so then just uh, from this kind of build blocks all the way out here until you reach the corner block right here and then do the same on this side just go out until you reach the corner so then just look at the map so if you don't know north is obviously up south is down west is to the left and east is right so since zombie pigmen will spawn on the east side we will have to build this kind of zombie pigmen collecting system on the outside right here so you're gonna build the same thing you just did here but one block going further out so build uh, you know row of blocks right here not this far but going out so if you know the zombie pigmen will spawn right here they will fall on this block do the same right here uh, right like that and then basically just build this all the way out and connect this up with this or the north side so do the same right here and obviously since zombie pigments spawn on the south side too you will have to go out until kind of the outside of the portal one block outside of the portal right here too like this so now if uh, so basically if we were to light the portal right here zombie pigmen will spawn and fall, fall on this side so then just you know connect these two and do the same on this side because i can just head over here build this uh, on the inside one block in 
and then just link up everything. So after I build this, if you want to make sure you build this right before you continue on the farm, what you can do is simply just light the portal quite a few times, break it, and as you see the zombie pigment should spawn on, on top of this kind of uh, row of blocks, or it should spawn inside a portal and fall onto here. You can do the same on this side, and as you see the zombie pigment fall on top of this block. Okay guys, so for now we're basically done with this. Well, we're not fully done, we're going to continue on this in a minute, but what you need to do now basically is just head into one of the corners of the portal, build three blocks upwards, one, two, three, well count three blocks upwards, from this third block build three blocks out right here, one, two, three, go three out right here and then place a block right here, well three blocks right here and then destroy these blocks. So what you need to do now is to head into this corner and basically just build up to the top of the nether portal like this, do the same in this corner and also the same in this corner. Now what you need to do in both of these corners, you basically need to place trapdoors. So if you don't know, we're gonna place lava in the middle right here, which means that the trapdoors, well this will basically be our lighting systems for portals. Which means that whenever we place trapdoors right here, the trapdoors will, you know, be locked like this and the lava will kind of, you know, start burning them or whatever. Which means that uh, the trapdoors will, or well, the fire will light up the portals. So after I've done this, you need to choose one of these blocks and basically just build all the way until the top. Like this, you can also fill in that block. Okay guys, now basically what I want to do is place some buttons that will help hold the kind of lava up. So from the bottom, count one block up, place a button, then one, then go, you know, one block space between another button. So basically just have one button every other block like this. So one space between the buttons and, uh, well, one space between the buttons, a block space like this. Then head back down here, place a dropper facing upwards, a redstone torch on top of that dropper, another dropper, redstone torch, dropper, redstone torch, dropper, redstone torch. Well, I'm gonna leave some space right here quickly because what I'm gonna do is place the lava buckets. So what I wanna do in all these empty spaces is basically just place a lava bucket like this. Now this lava bucket will be what that turns on the portals. So just do this. The two top blocks here gotta be, you know, normal blocks. But basically just, uh, yeah, you can also place the lava from the outside here. But if you also want, you can place the lava from the inside, well, outside of the portals. And also if you don't want the portals to turn on, you can simply just place a block right here to prevent them from turning on. But, you know, that's your choice, I guess. Okay, guys, so the next step is really really important that you follow. So basically we want to build four more of these in each corner, but when we build these, you know, we gotta have the kind of droppers facing towards each other, which means that if we're gonna build this in this corner, I'm just quickly gonna show you what I mean. So when we build this in this corner, we basically gotta have, you know, the observers on this side, not this side. We gotta have the observers kind of facing towards each other. So when you build right here, just build a block in the corner. Well, I already showed this, so basically just build this again right here, but, you know, facing each other. So basically just take that copy and paste it in 180 degrees. Okay guys, now we should be done with all these kind of four pillar things or, you know, portal activating things. So the next step is to head, you know, one block under every dropper, build two blocks going outwards like this. Okay guys, the next step you want to do is head into one of these kind of lava things or activating things and place a dispenser right here. And then from this dispenser head diagonally to the other pillar right here and place another dispenser right here. So basically on the ones that have no dispenser, so basically from this one to this one, you just want to build two blocks right out and then go just all the way into this corner. And then you want to place a dispenser on top of this block. So do the same right here, just go two blocks out, four blocks backwards, one, two, three, four, and then place a dispenser dispenser on top of that block. So I quickly forgot to say in the beginning, but this is not actually my design. This is another video I found on YouTube, but with a lot of tweaks since the last design of this was made in 1.14, which means that it had some bugs in it that doesn't work anymore. So I quickly want to say that what we're going to do now is to build a little outside wall that's going to be all around these kind of, you know, zombie pigment collecting things. But because this farm design is kind of older, and like I said in the beginning, we're going to have to go one more block down into here and basically build out right here. Not sure if that made sense, but basically I'm going to show you how to make sure we build this correctly. So just head into one of the corners right here, uh, place a temporary glass right here, go two glass right out, well right up, and then build roughly eight glass outwards. Well, not going to count it right now, but just build a few blocks outwards. This doesn't have to be glass, this can be any block. You also have to do this on the insides, inside, so just go roughly eight out. Well, somewhat of eight blocks, but I'm just... So then head into this kind of corner right here and place a water bucket right here, which means that, you know, any pigment will spawn and will fall into here. But because water can't travel too fast, we could obviously have ice, but that could still make it a little glitchy. So after you've done this here, you will know that you will have to go one more down from here. So basically just go one down and then just uh, from here build all the way into this kind of, you know, glass thing right here. Then you can destroy these blocks right here. 
Now obviously you will have to do the same on that side and also count the blocks right there. Now what you can also do is just count from the corner. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You know that this is the 8th block which means you can destroy these two blocks. So what we can quickly do to you know just make sure this is all right is just to build glass all the way until here. Now to quickly test out this I place a temporary glass block right there but the water should be flowing until this kind of block right there. So what you can do now is just uh, you know quickly destroy the water but build this outwards. And what you have to do is do the same testing thing on each of these corners. Now basically this will not be the same. You can't just count from the middle two, three blocks out because this, uh, because you know, this side is on the inside which means that it's a little shorter. So I also want to say that from here you will just have to, you know, place glass right here. Um, make sure no pigment can jump up so just build it strong and uh, secure all the way into the middle right here. So from right here you can also just uh, destroy these glass you know the blocks around i guess just to remove the ugly stone ness make sure you fill in all this with glass and now we gotta place in the water so basically just place two more water buckets right here now the water should flow roughly until here it should also be you know kind of divided up and it won't flow to the middle so how we will fix that is to go three blocks back from you know before we hit the middle point one two three place a sign right here one sign one block back up or whatever from that do the same right here two signs right here too and then basically two water buckets right here so to quickly show how this works a ton of zombie pigmen will spawn right here um, and they won't stop because the water will kind of push them into here as you see and when they fall down here they will basically be one tap which means that the trident killer would, will kill them pretty easily so yeah as you see all the zombie pigmen will fall into this so now all we need to do is do the same with all of these and there we go guys now it's basically done so this means that if we place any zombie pigmen or any zombie pigmen spawn and fall into each of these they will uh, you know get pushed by this water into each kind of killing column oh we need to do this one forward right there there we go See, all the um, zombie pigmen will fall into each of these columns, so now we're basically done with the water streams. Okay guys, now what you quickly have to do before we continue with the next step is to fix up the portal in case you placed, you know, a block right here to prevent it from starting. Or, you know, broke a block, so just quickly make sure that, you know, all the blocks are fixed. And then the next step is basically just run a redstone line through here into the dispensers on all of these blocks like this. So just place redstone right here going into each dispenser where to watch each dispenser. And then on these kind of, you know, uh, big redstone lines because you have, you know, a short one and then these ones. Right here basically place temporary block right here, another block right here and then a sticky piston on top of that block. Then destroy those blocks under. And then place a redstone block in front of that um, piston. To so do the same on this side, just two blocks up, sticky piston, redstone block. And on these short ones do basically the same sticky piston like that. Do the same right here, so two blocks, temporary blocks up, sticky piston, red some torch, well, red some block I mean, like that. So the next step is basically just to link up the sticky pistons between each other, well the two that are closest to each other or facing each other like this. So after I've done this, what you need to do now is just place a redstone line going well, going above the blocks you placed between the pistons, like this. Then find the middle block of uh, this line, so you can count out, I think, three blocks. One, two, three. One, two, three, go four, four. Then just build a line going out in the middle. Well, it doesn't have to be exactly the middle, but I like it symmetrical. So just follow the line going out through the middle. Then place a few redstone going out roughly until the middle point right here. Do the same on this side. And then place a sticky piston right here. Okay guys, so after I place this sticky piston, don't place anything else. What you have to do now is basically just head into the trident killing room. Right under the sticky piston, build six blocks going upwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Destroy the five bottom blocks. Then grab another lever and place it under this block. Then what you have to do now is basically just make a little redstone tower or redstone torch tower. So place a redstone torch on top of this block. Block on top of that redstone torch and then just another redstone torch torch then a block on top of that and do this until you reach the sticky piston so when you reach the sticky piston this sticky piston should be kind of activated which means you can place a redstone torch on top of here now a redstone block i mean now the next step is basically just to fill in each of these dispensers with one water bucket each like this so just fill all of them in And then we're basically done, so the last step is to head into, well, open all these trident killers and then throw a trident on all of these pistons, well, on one of the pistons or any open block inside each of these. 
so just do this i also want to say that if you have a trident with looting you will obviously get more resources but this farm already gives you so much that it might overload any capable system of this or whatever and there we go guys we're basically done i quickly want to say before i show how this works is that this system is obviously not enough chests and basically what i would recommend you is build an automatic sorting system with all of these chests so in my world i tried to only have one automatic sort system thing and that didn't and that wasn't even close to enough so i ended up having four of them so yeah now we're basically done i'm already level 66 after testing this out for a few minutes but how this works is that you turn on this so after you flick these levers this uh, trident killing thing should be turned on and then you can flick this then you can flick the lever and the, you know the portals should start turning on and off and and zombie pigments will start to spawn so as you see a ton of pigments are already spawning and they are being killed so since i'm level 66 you won't really see how much levels you got but i went up level from level 0 to 66 in i think 5 10 15 minutes this farm is only honestly insane and yeah again with all the chests you have under here this the system will fill up so quickly with chests that well with the golden swords i mean that you will need extra chests but yeah but yeah as you see this farm works pretty greatly a ton of pigments are spawning and i would and i'm also gonna quickly say that you will need to turn off the portal thing and the trident killer before you head away the trident killer isn't that important to turn off but you need to flick this before flying out you know off random distance uh, because if not the water buckets might glitch which means that the portal could be destroyed not destroyed but the water will basically always be stuck and flowing which means that one portal might not fully work so as you see the farm is pretty great i've turned off, off the portals and these are being filled up with zombie pigman okay guys so right now i am in my, my world and i quickly want to show that this is the first design i try to have with the automatic storage so sorting system so if you don't know uh, these sorting things basically takes all the golden nuggets golden ingots and rotten flesh and sends them into these chests and then any other golden swords or anything that aren't in the system gets deployed into this lava thing but what i basically want to say that is in my world this didn't work my sh this thing overloaded the system too quickly because of the amount of items that came so i built basically all this for you know just one for these two chests another one of these for these two and that seemed to work pretty well and yes basically that seemed to work pretty well i still overloaded the system quite a lot by simply studying afk for seven hours i got i think 10 double chests of rotten flesh alone before the system just fully stopped working and i lost a ton of resources but yeah so anyways guys that was the farm if you have any questions about this feel free to comment them and i'll answer them answer them as quickly as possible anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out